hello and welcome to this video so in this video and the next few videos we are going to talk and learn about pipelines in azure devops so far we have seen uh, boards and repositories but in this video we will we will see the actual thing why this uh, azure devops is mostly used it is used because of the feature called as pipelines so in this video we will see what is a pipeline what are the types of pipeline how we create it why we use it so all of these things we are going to discuss in this video and the few videos that will come after this because pipeline is a vast topic and a lot of things can we can do uh, with the help of a pipeline so let's go on the portal where i have created the last app uh, this is the application called as timesheet that i had created uh, for this tutorial so in this you will see one section called as pipelines and this is where you will create all your pipeline okay now before we go and directly start creating pipelines it is important for us to know what is a pipeline and why do we need a pipeline exactly okay so uh, i have opened this uh, official microsoft documentation if you want to learn anything about the pipeline or what all things the pipeline supports you can come over here and you can see it is a very good and nice documentation on pipeline so if you don't want to watch my videos or anyone else videos you can just come over here and go through this documentation it is uh, fairly well written okay but if you don't want to read all this then i'm here i'll uh, i'll explain in very simple terms okay so pipelines are is a sequence of task that you can perform to achieve some uh, goal this goal can be if you want to deploy one application that you have created in a code you want to build this application and deploy it on a server on a virtual machine or in a or in azure or in aws anywhere so this is one task you want one application to be deployed somewhere or it can be that you want you have a source code and you want to build the apk file or a dot exe file so a pipeline can help you in uh, accomplishing such kind of task and that too very efficiently so why was pipelines needed in the first place uh, many times i have explained that in olden times in previous time whenever you want to deploy any application the process is very lengthy first you will deploy an application then you will build one file you will take this file in your uh, cd dvds or pen drives and you will carry and go to your manager you will take approvals once all the approvals are done you will take the, you will take your file and then you will upload it on a server or copy it on a server and then you will do all kind of configuration and then deploy maybe you will change the configuration configuration settings connection strings all those things and then you will deploy so you can see there are too many things happening and it is easy to get lost or make any kind of mistakes azure pipelines helps you to avoid those mistakes and it also allows you to automate all those things so you can create a pipeline once and use it multiple times so if you come over here in the pipeline section you will see uh, it will say that create your first pipeline right uh, here you will see, you will find some options to create your pipeline for the time being for right now uh, you don't have to understand anything i will explain it in detail in the future videos but just for this purpose okay I will choose this classic editor over here at the bottom. I have selected the classic editor and now it will open something like this. Don't give, uh, don't, don't pay attention to any other things over here. I'll just click on continue and I'll say empty job or, or better I'll say this ASP.NET Core. You don't have to understand anything. Just see what I'm, uh, I'm explaining. Okay. So, uh, for a reference, I have created one. A pipeline over here so all this was automatically built out for me and I can say that it is a dot net build so from our last uh, session I have explained that I have a dot uh, net application so I have code in dot net and I have put it over here so this is just a name I have given what you will see over here is that you will have you have this multiple sections right or oh, this one is called as restore this one is called as build test publish and publish artifact so all these individual pieces is like a task a task that you want to perform for example for this restore it is one kind of command that you that you run whenever you want to uh, 
लाइक रिस्टोर योर डॉट नेट प्रोजेक्ट्स और वेन एवर यू वॉन्ट टू लाइक ऑल द न्यूगेट पैकेजेस नीड्स टू बी रिजोल्व एट दैट टाइम यू यू परफॉर्म दिस टास्क कॉल्ड एज रिस्टोर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बिल्ड योर प्रोजेक्ट देन यू एग्जीक्यूट दिस बिल्ड टास्क बिल्ड कमांड विच वी कॉल कॉल इट एज ए टास्क ओवर हियर सो वंस आई ले ऑल माई टास्क ओवर हियर इन ए सिक्वेंस आई कैन जस्ट सेव इट एंड रन इट एंड एवरी टाइम आई वॉन्ट वॉन्ट दिस टू बी एग्जीक्यूटेड और आई वॉन्ट दिस सीरीज ऑफ टास्क टू बी परफॉर्म आई कैन जस्ट कम एंड रन इट ओवर हियर सो दिस इज हाउ पाइपलाइंस हेल्प सर नॉट ओनली दिस इफ आई वॉन्ट सम काइंड ऑफ कस्टम टास्क और इफ आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू एग्जीक्यूट सम पावर शेल स्क्रिप्ट और ए कमांड और ए कमांड शेल स्क्रिप्ट आई कैन डू दैट आई जस्ट हैव टू क्लिक ऑन ओवर हियर सर्च इन दिस फॉर कमांड and you, uh, you can see i can add a task for command line and i can execute a command line script so in short this sequence of task is called a pipeline and you run, you have a pipeline to achieve some kind of goal either to build your project or either to deploy your application on production server or test server or uh, it is up to you how you want to uh, how you want to achieve your task task or what you want to do with it okay now we will go back a little okay uh, i uh, we can ignore this we can ignore this and we'll go back okay uh, so i am here again on this pipeline so it is saying create your first pipeline i will stop here and continue in the next videos in the next video we will see what is an agent host and why it is used and how it is related to pipelines so it is a very important piece of thing in a pipeline called as agent host and we will see that in the next video and uh, you can just you can find the link to that video in the description or in the i button over here here okay so let's can let's okay so see you in the next video